The Story of Three Magical Objects Once upon a time, in a certain area, there was an orphan boy who worked hard all day long but was still in poverty all year round. He did not have any fields, so he had to plow for his family. When the harvest came, he had to pay all the rice grains to the rich man and number 39's house, so he remained poor. However, due to his hard-working and honest nature, he also saved some money to buy an axe to cut wood to support himself. One day, he swung an axe to cut down a giant tree. Just after cutting a few times, he heard the tree groan. From the tree a tree elf came out. To keep him from cutting down the tree, it gave him a magic tray. Just knock on the tray three times and you will have all the delicious food. The boy happily brought the tray home. Arriving at the restaurant where he always ate on credit, he placed the magic tray on the table and treated everyone to a full meal. It and number 39, s all delicious and strange things. After eating, the drunk man lay down to sleep. Seeing that, the shop owner exchanged his magic tray and replaced it with a normal tray. Returning to the village, the young man wanted to show everyone the treasure, so he went into the communal house and beat the drum loudly. All the villagers ran out, he excitedly knocked on the tray three times, but didn't and hash 39. T hear anything. He kept knocking and knocking and still didn't and hash 39. T see anything. Thinking he was a fraud, everyone beat him up to make friends. He thought that the essence of the tree was deceiving him. Frustrated at being considered a fraud by everyone and in pain from the beating the previous day, he took out his axe and slashed hard at the tree trunk. The essence of the tree appeared again and gave him a horse that gave birth to gold. He galloped on horseback to the village but stopped at a familiar restaurant and was also tricked by the owner of the restaurant to exchange the magic horse with a normal horse that resembled the costume. Then the young man returned to the village and showed everyone the horse that gave birth to gold. He patted the horse and number 39's butt three times, then several times, but did not see any gold only a few pieces of horse manure. And like last time, he received a brutal beating. Angry, he carried the axe up the mountain, slashed it hard into the tree trunk, and was determined not to let it go. This time, the tree spirit told him that the innkeeper had swapped his treasures before and gave him a treasure to help him reclaim what he had lost. Returning to the restaurant, seeing him, the owner came out to greet him, but he did not come in. He held a wooden pipe up to the sky and knocked on the ground three times. Then the owner of the restaurant turned it upside down into the sky. He had to return the two treasures to the young man. Returning to the village, the young man treated everyone to a feast and then gave everyone a basket of gold. Everyone was happy and thanked the young man. Since then, his life has gotten better and better. He used his treasures to help the poor. The rich man gave him his daughter in marriage, and the couple lived happily together. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.